Hello, everyone, and welcome to our new episode of the Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Today, I'm Jamie, your host, and we have Curtis, our angel haired hipster. We have Eddie, the happy Honduran. Right. And with us again, she looks so nice, we brought her in twice. Cassie. <laughs> yeah. We're happy to have her. Uh, yep. So twice. today, we have two bottles that are familiar from previous episodes. Yes. And what do we have here? Covered up. We have the third in the series. Ooh, should I uncover it? No, but just leave it now. Oh, we don't need to Just guess. <laughs> guess <what it's laughs> <just. laughs> so this is the third one. Okay. And, and, and we need to pop it out. <laughs> this is Scallywag. 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 That was my nickname. So, oh nice. my gosh! So I just remember when I know this, no matter what. Timberos. Timberos. Timberos Beastie. Yeah, that, that's um, and we have Rock Britannian's Oyster. favorite right there. <laughs> well, that's that it right. <laughs> Scallywag. Okay, Jamie, would you like to tell our guest why we serve this in? <laughs> These are designed to blast your nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that <person. laughs> yep. This is going to be different than anything you have. You ever, ever been blasted before. in the nose? If you've, so. never, if you've never had a scotch before, this is going to be intense and. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You should be able to taste some of the notes into it. It's a blended whiskey, correct? Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, maybe it's some a of the... space side. It's a space side. Um... Space side? I thought you said ins Islet. No, it's a space side among others. Okay. And then it named the three cities. It, uh, it kind of reminds me of the Winter Project. If oh, I think yeah. That's what it was called, the flavor, because it's oh. very warm. Well, that's flavored. space side, of course. Yeah. So that's, well, yeah, that's yeah, probably the That is space side. Then. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, what I'm so the winter, be, it it the be, winter storm. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah winter right? storm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it should be. Because uh, <laughs> I was like, man, slightly uh, sweet. Do, do, you, do you need somebody to brace you for this, or no? I think my nose did that already. You should be. Okay. It should taste a little sweet, uh, maybe some fruit. Um, we'll see. I've never had this, so we'll see. Oh my gosh. It's got some smoke to it. Mm -hmm. It's got some real smoke to it. Let her roll in your tongue. <laughs> I don't think we like it. It's very. It's very. It's intense. Yeah. So I'll use that word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. The smoke comes from peat. What is what is smoke? Mean. Do you do you do you taste that sort of campfire sort of taste in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. What what they do is they take the malt, which in this case is barley because it's a single malt if it's a scotch. Okay. And they put the malt on a floor, and then they burn peat on a level below, and the smoke rises through it, and they let it sit in there for a period of time with the peat burning the smoke through, and that's what flavors the malt to flavor the whiskey. It's amazing that it gets that much taste mm -hmm. out of just through all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? Over the years, though, I guess. So. Yeah. yeah, and you know so, what? So think of think of it like you know when someone smokes meats. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the same sort of process. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. smoked whiskey. Yeah, yeah smoked like, whiskey. Like yeah. now, it's not so bad. Like my, it kind of burns. You a got little. used to it. A it kind of burns a little. Yeah. But like it's just the initial like going down. It's just like it's you intense. can just feel. Yeah. <laughs> so it explodes in your mouth and then it's really strong going down. So you kind of. I, like I think, like now, if you take your second uh, set, you will probably enjoy it just a little bit more, even though you may not like. It. Okay, it's try just... this. Put a little in your mouth, and hold it on top of your tongue, then let it flow around yep. your tongue, and then slowly swallow it. Then you can taste all the different flavors that are in the whiskey. Just a just a sliver, not not you a lot. Have a lot. No, just enough to to coat it. Mm -hmm. Just try that. Yes. What do you think, bud? You know what? Uh, I that peat stuff. It's not my favorite stuff, just like overly strong white oak, but this is really balanced. Now, and when I mean balanced, I don't mean like, um, like, like, like when you like secular, like, like, like every, like something that it can be marketable to everybody. This is on the strong side. So on the strong side, it's balanced. So it doesn't like overtake me and, um, it's sweet. Um, and it has a, a nice warmth. When it goes down it's a little bit strong in the beginning but one, like my second and third drink i'm like okay this is really warm and smooth oh, oh. 
I'm starting to really like the smoky and peaty. When I'm, my brain must be adapting to it and mm. figuring it out. Mm -hmm. So I am starting to really. Well, we haven't got really the serious smoky and peaty ones yet. Yeah, I've had them where the, I've had these before where yeah. they've sat in my nose for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. almost. Yeah, yeah. 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 They... Like the next morning, I thought, was I camping last night? No. <laughs> I went to Curtis's. <laughs> I went to Curtis's. <laughs> what did he do to me? <laughs> but you know what? Like, compared to Winter Storm, I think I like this a little bit better than Winter Storm uh, in the smokiness section. Because it's, it's just, it wasn't like so overpowering, like, as Winter Storm was. Um, but the other attributes, um, you know, I kind of like Winter Storm's fruitiness. This is somewhat fruity, but it's not as fruity as the Winter Storm. And I do taste, though, uh, the sweet tobacco, cocoa, and uh, rich fruitcake. And I think the rich fruitcake, that was something else that they named during... Um, uh, in the winter storm also, so I don't know where they get this rich fruit cake. But I mean, they're they're both from. Um, Are you sure you're not space side? There? Yeah, I'm a fruit cake. Yeah, yeah. Winter fruit cake. I'm a space side fruit cake. <laughs> okay, guys. So we've had three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is. Do you remember this one? I do. Yes. Okay. This that's one. A, that's a lighter. That was a lighter color. Right. Yeah. Well, we can say that. Yeah. I remember it. There we go. Now, that one was, really had a lot of intense flavor. It wasn't as smoky, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I think you're right. It's yeah. pretty really light stuff, actually. And the, and the reviews are saying that this is the best of the three. Really? Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that that's our opinion. No. Okay. And this one, we can't really tell because it's in this lovely, beautiful, dark bottle, so we really can't see the color of it. Mm -hmm. But do we remember this one, too? Yeah, it's a lighter color. L and I, a little sweeter. I remember it being lighter, and it didn't taste like it looked no, at all. No, at all. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the one where it didn't... It, it tasted like it smelled, but it was like there was like a big contrast. Now, all three of these are right in the same price point. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, $60, $70 a piece. Mm-hmm. And all of them are unique, and I think they're all really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but, which would you, if, if you had to go out and buy one, which would you get? Uh, I, I, go I feel bad, man, because I'm not a peaty guy, but I think I like this one the best. Yeah, though I, I remember not too many episodes ago, you were ranting and raving about how awful Pete was. I know, <laughs> and, I'm just, and you actually, just hated smoky whiskeys, and you just hated never like, going to drink one ever again. This, and, this <laughs> won me. This this won me, in the Petey. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I can I can work with this. It's kind of like rye when you first have it. It's just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So maybe the Petey is kind of growing on me, or maybe this is just really good. I think. I don't remember this one as much because we did that a while back. So you it's smell it. it's it's harder for me to remember. Smell smell the pie. Um, well, grab a glass. Okay. okay. Ladies first. Can you just take a little sip? Mm. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have. Cassie, Cassie you're awesome. Here. You are awesome. This is okay. It came back to me. Okay, can this, I see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is um. <laughs> yeah. Less, this is I, this is this is a good this is a good whiskey. This I think I've said this before that with a bourbon that we did recently, mm. uh, it checked every box. It check marks for it to be a scotch. Yeah, I feel like this is a scotch. If you put this up against any scotch, I think a this, one, scotch. this holds up. I think scotch. that a scotch should, to me, in my opinion, a scotch should be smoky and peaty. Mm. No, I don't think that's true. You don't think so? No, I mean, there's a lot of scotches that have a touch of it, but aren't really smoky and peaty. And I think a lot of the Highland scotches aren't all that over the top. I always think, though, what that... What about, like, your, your Glen Morangi? You love your, yeah. your, your, your sherry finish. That's true. I like true. the board finish. That's true. And there is a, a touch of smoke in there, but there isn't that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think just recently, though, from, by what I've been doing is... A lot more of the smoky and peaties, and that just seems to me to be oh, this is a scotch because it's smoky and peaty. Well, we're gonna we're that gonna, might be maybe that's just my still uh, we're gonna do a novice big opinion peat and see if you guys oh, even man. can stand I don't even want I don't I won't be here for this episode. <laughs> Bertanian, you're probably gonna be taking over. Burn, what do you think? Thing. I, I don't know. It's between Rock Oyster and Scallywag, frankly, mm -hmm. but they're all really cool. Yeah. So for me, the Beastie one, it's just kind of like it's really too smoky for me. Um, but
but I like I like the oy, the rock oyster, and I agree with uh, Burn. Uh, it's really well balanced, and it's not what you expect because it's so light, and then it's so light. But then when you taste it, it's like wow, this is explosive, but it's well balanced. And then this, you know, um, like I said, I don't like PDs that much, but this is uh, actually tolerable in a way that it's actually enjoyable. I think I might like this one because a teacher in high school called me an old scallywag. Scallywag! I have no idea why they said that, but they did. <laughs> I think I know why. Because <laughs> he's from Space Aid. Eh? Huh. No. No, okay. But uh, I think the, these are all, uh, these are a prime example of what we're trying to do on the show. Yeah. And that's get people out of their comfort zone to bring out, to try different uh, whiskeys. These are wonderful examples of scotches. So are you out of your comfort zone? Absolutely. They're definitely out of the comfort zone. <laughs> and that's okay. To wrap this up, I think that these are all wonderful examples of breaking out of our comfort zones, mm. trying something new. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, is these, are these expensive? Well, I just told you they're 70 bucks a piece. So they are yeah, for, okay. on, the, on the above, above. Above what you guys spend, not what I spend. Okay. Yeah. So if you, if, you wanna, uh, if you want to, if you want to, Save up a little bit of money and get a good one. Uh, either one of these three are excellent examples of what you could buy. And with that, my great friend, Great Britannian, will you take us home? Let's wrap this up. Let's get out of here. All for one? And one, one for, for all. all. Scalawag. <laughs>